When using text in Pixlr, um, when you're first using the type tool or the text tool down here, you end up with perfectly fine text, except for the fact it's kind of thin and not very memorable. Now, sure, you can go in there and you can change the fill color, you can change the font, um, you can make it larger, of course, and that's going to help. Um, you can change the format so that there's more space in between or uh, the lines or between the letters. You can make it bold and some other things like that. You can change the styles and you can give it a curve feature, which is kind of interesting. Um, you can give it a background color, which I don't really like. You can give it an outline. You can give it a drop shadow, which I usually will use. But other than that, um, I, like I said, it just stays kind of thin and not very memorable, doesn't stand out very well. But there are some things you can do to your text to make it definitely stand out and uh, be a lot more memorable and, um, and just better. Um, so to do that, we're going to be actually adding um, a texture to our text. So we're going to be filling the text with an image um, that is going to definitely make it look a lot better. So to do this, you want to um, create a new, uh, a new project, rather. And we're just going to use the, the same dimensions as this initial project here, which was um, we want the same width, which was 720 and the height that's 1280. And I'm just going to call this um, soccer. All right. Now, because this is the same dimensions as the other picture, um, this is going to not be in any way or, or distorted when we, when we put it in there. Um, so next thing you're going to do is create the text. And I want to call my magazine Soccer Monthly. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that in, Soccer Monthly. And the fill color doesn't really matter so much, but just to make this easier to read, I'm going to change it to white. You do definitely want to choose a font that is a nice, big, and bold. Um, nice thing about Pixlr is it will show you a preview of the font um, before you actually choose it. So I'm going to use this one called Emery, which I really like for, for the soccer for some reason. I just think it looks like um, soccer. <laughs> I don't know why. And of course, you can change the size, like I said earlier. I want to make that kind of stretch out so it fits in the space neatly and doesn't, there we go. Nice. Um, you can also type in a, a number manually if you want. So if you're like, I want it to be exactly 200. Well, that doesn't fit. So let me try 175. Pretty good. All right. Um, I'm just going to take that down to 170 so it doesn't get cut off. Okay. Next, after you have um, changed the color, changed the size, have a font that you like, the ne next thing you're going to do is find an image that you want to fill that text with. Now, I've already done this for mine. Um, I found this image by going into stock search and I searched for turf. And I figured I would just use like the, the, the turf of a soccer field, right? Or a soccer pitch, excuse me. Um, so now I have that and I'm going to do a select all and copy. And I'm going to go over to my image and paste. Now, obviously, that's uh, not going to fit in that space, but that doesn't matter. Okay. What does matter though, is that I need to make sure that I name my layers as always. So I'm going to call this uh, turf and I need to drag this below the text so I can see the text like so. And you can delete your extra layer that you have there. It doesn't really make a difference right now, but I'm just going to delete it. And basically whatever you see here under the text is going, the, the text is going to change to that. It's going to be filled in with that. So I'm going to drag this down a little bit. Um, so I, I don't really want this background here. I, I want the, the field more. And I, I think it'd be cool to have the ball in there as well. Okay, and then the last thing you're going to do to the text is you're going to do something called rasterizing it, which is going to allow you to treat it just like any other image or object where you're going to be able to resize it or distort it. Whereas right now you can't do that. The only thing you can do is make the, the box bigger like I just did. So to do that, you're going to go to the layer menu and you're gonna choose rasterize layer. Again, that's gonna make it like regular old image. Now you're not gonna notice any difference other than the fact that it says that it's now rasterized text. Uh, however, if you go now to the edit menu and you go to free transform, notice that you can use all those same tools that you use for a regular image. So I can stretch it out. I can make it a little bit more stout if I want to and make it fit nice and neatly. Um, can stretch it out even more than you could before. So Soccer Monthly is starting to look pretty good. All right, 
Now, after you've rasterized it, click anywhere else. It'll ask you if you want to apply your transformation. Click yes, because you absolutely do. Then you're going to go to the three little dots over here. And you're going to go to blend mode and scroll all the way to the bottom until you find mask. And there you go. <laughs> so <clears throat> now that that is uh, masked, essentially you, you've removed everything um, except for what was on top of that turf layer, which was the text, which is a really cool effect there. Um, then after you have masked it, you're going to need to merge these layers, which you can do right from this same menu here. Um, you can just choose merge down. And now it's just one layer. Notice you can move it around. If you didn't do that, um, as you moved the text around, the mask would change, uh, which is fine. That, that allows you to kind of fine tune and put it exactly where you want it to. And after you've merged it then, last thing you're gonna do is go to the filter menu and play around with this section of tools. Usually what I'll do is I'll add an outer glow and you're gonna to wanna to move this out of the way. Look how much better that looks. Okay, and you can change the size of the glow. You can change the color of the glow. Um, so for mine, I'm gonna to have to pick a color for this. Uh, let's see. It is surrounded by light blue. So I definitely don't want like a white um, or a blue. So I think a black maybe might, be, might work for this. So filter, outer glow and change the color. I mean, this is just my choice here. You, you do whatever you want. Um, and I like that for my color, which doesn't look good right now, but that's okay. It's gonna look better later. The feather is like the softness um, of that line, which is tough to tell right now because of the fact that it has a dark background. And then the opacity, you know that, that's like the difference between your transparency um, and what you can see behind it. I'm gonna just drag that down to like 70 something. There we go. Now I click apply and from here, I can simply do a select all and copy, go to my other image. I'm gonna delete this layer because it looks terrible. Paste. And whoops, I'm sorry, I need to uh, try that again. I need to download this first. <laughs> File, save. I'm just gonna export it as a PNG actually. There we go. And now I'm gonna go to layer and add image as layer. Here's my soccer text <laughs> and look how cool that is. Uh, I'm actually gonna crop this too. I probably should have done that on the last step just to make it easier to move. Press enter, whoops. Don't wanna crop that. There we go. Okay, and I can resize this, zoom out so I can see it better. So don't crop it because <laughs> that'll, uh, that'll crop the whole image. And now I've got my soccer monthly magazine. Maybe stretch that out a little bit more. Okay. Now the problem with this is it's covering up his head a little bit, but that's something that I can I can fix uh, with playing around with my dimensions. Um, or I could even bring the head to the uh, to the top here. So, <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I'm so proud of that. All right. Um, there we go. So there's my soccer monthly magazine, and um, enjoy. Really great way to create an image that, or a text rather, that includes an image and is definitely gonna stand out.